recording. Welcome back to Mod Wars with Arcane Duels. I am Puddin' Head, and I am here with Coachade. Hey! And Sharkbait. Hello! And we are watching this game between Sir Jason Craig with his classic Araxian Crown Warlock that he just powered up, and Victor E with the Siren that he chose not to power up for some strange reason. No powering up with a siren. Do we have the, the alternative? Siren's awesome because there's a shark oh, in the dude, background. It's got a shark in the background, right? Victory. Yeah. Yeah. Automatically better. Bring the sharks out, man. Uh, what is it? Control F. Yep. <laughs> um, so, uh, how do you feel about this matchup, Putin? I well, okay. So, siren is underpowered, even after our changes, probably. However, Victor E has been playing siren. Uh, for a very long time and trying to figure her out. Um, the Araxian Crown is Sir Jason's go-to mage for just about everything, and I bet he's loving some of the changes that we've made. Oh, yes. I would not be surprised to see another pentagram here. Uh, I would also not be surprised to... <laughs> Double move? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't have to interrupt and just ran across the board. <laughs> I mean, being aggressive against the siren is not a bad plan. Yeah. So, hey, hey, look. What'd you say he was going to get cast? My a pentagram. God, there's a lot of pentagram plays. It's almost like a whole new strategy opened up with Mod Wars. <laughs> so, yeah, it's almost like it's <laughs> worth playing right we now. We are seeing the Flower Forge opening for Victory. Interesting choice there. Of course, the siren is not paying triple for fire, so that is just a four point yep. book inclusion. It's not too bad. Um, how do you feel about a Battleforge for Siren? I've wanted to try a Battleforge Siren for a while. I'm dubious as to whether or not it's even fast enough. Certainly in this case, it seems really like... I guess it's nice because gearing up the Siren against creatures that are coming out will be kind of useful. It's just... Um, I feel like the Siren's going to have to use all of her actions just to keep taking out the creatures from Pentagram. And then that'll sort of free up Jason's mage to curse or, you know, punch the siren in the face. Um, you know, stuff like that. Or both. <laughs> both. Yeah, it's almost like the siren needs to have a second quick cast marker or something. Hmm. That'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, she is always action limited when I play her. Like... Well, because you want to use siren's call as much as possible to negate an enemy creature, but you're negating half of your mage at the same time, which is mm -hmm. really a bad deal. Yep. So Siren moves up and plays probably a hydrothermal event there. Uh, we get a mana shard with that pentagram and a curse going down. I bet there's a nullify. Yep, nullify. Victor E is a wizard player, so I bet he couldn't bring himself to get rid of his nullifies. <laughs> um, I remember when nullify was actually the standard for every mage. Um, you would just always run four and just always have it on you. Um, that was that was a really interesting time for Mage Wars. That being said, using a, a Mage Bane, I think, is probably one of the best choices you can do against a Nullify. Yeah, it means one spell point and cheap as hell, and if it works, it's one of the best curses in the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you always, if you do stick it, it's always going to pay off mm -hmm. exactly. uh, in your favor. Looks like this pentagram getting creature, but no, a different creature. And uh, so this is probably the, I think the third game we've seen with pentagram actually getting used. And, this turn, yeah. and I want to point out that even with the incorporeal change, Siren still, even without it, Siren still struggles in a lot of ways to deal with incorporeal. Mm -hmm. um, so a, a, a part of me wonders how Victory would have dealt with this even without the change. I think it's it's worth running a couple of four hammers in your siren. Mm. Conjuration killing is actually a really important thing to to always have. Yeah. Economy play. Does the upheaval work on it? And it only works on walls and terrain, right? Upheaval only works on level one things. Mm. Oh that's right. Okay. I knew there's a restriction, I just forgot what it was. Hydrothermal vent getting seek and dispelled. Oh nice. It looks like we do have the uh, Ring of Ocean's Depths coming out and the uh, Firebrand Imp, of course, uh, for the Warlock. 
Um, these little sorts of cards here, um, it, once you it's get a shell... not expected, to be honest. Yeah, Shallow Sea will really reduce their damage potential, so I think he's just bringing it out just to Bring say, like, to burn. use your actions to destroy this. Interesting. Surging wave already? Well, there's no armor, so why not? Yeah, yeah. This would From this standpoint, maybe he's trying to get in and punch, so this will help. I wouldn't say prevent, oh. but it'll help stop. What? Woof. Max damage? Oh, <laughs> he got max damage right. on that. That was awesome. <laughs> he also missed, he missed the slam. He missed the, the push. Yeah. But he yeah. just he just barely got the slam. I think he was only... I don't know. I only ever cast it for the slam, so what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The magma golem coming out. This oh, is getting used a bit more why. in this tournament, actually. This is the second game we've seen with it. It's also interesting. I mean, it's a, it's a cool spell. I just wonder why it's used more now with these rules. Is there some rule that we changed that actually makes this guy better, too? Um, no, but I do want to point out that in our actual rules, we do have clarifications for Magma Golem. And mm -hmm. a part of me wonders if some players look at that and they go, oh, Magma Golem. Oh, maybe I can make this work. I don't know. It might inspire oh, them. Magma Golem. Then again, I know Jason just kind of loves everything about Warlock. That's true. I've seen him so... run this one before. Or it's run also, similar one. It also gets around several uh, damage issues, right? Yeah, like the Magma Golem thing. goes into the sea. Sure, it's not hitting as hard, but its burns are what's hitting hard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So you don't need it to hit hard in the sea. Now, he didn't know he was facing a siren, but he also could use this against jellies or... That's true. Um, I didn't think about the jellies. Or zombies or anything that you would expect someone to run. Mm -hmm. so I don't expect people to rely a whole lot on resilient creatures in this tournament because of some of the rules changes. Yeah, we haven't seen, we any, seen any resilient. Um, I We've think, seen a water elemental. I think we saw okay. a water elemental, yeah. Um, looks like we're going to have a burn out of this magma golem to try and deal damage to the warlock. And one damage in that warlock saying, thank you for summoning me. Now here's some magma to your face. Just sort of Casually the uh, Firebrand Imp is flame immune, so he does not just he's got flame damage. Yeah, that's that's actually one of the clarifications we made, and that is that it's um, specifically the Magma Golem deals um, flame damage with with that burn, just because it's uh, intended to be that. But it's kind of interesting to think when it's not, how that sort of implies direct damage in a weird way. This fire ran it would just be burning alive. <laughs> or burning dead. That burning dead. golem should not have damage on it, right? It should not, no. That's okay. correct. I'm curious why he has uh, damage on him, actually. Probably it maybe, maybe he hasn't taken off. There it goes. I'm not sure how I feel about the Ring of Ocean's deaths right now. Um, just it's because a super it's... economy play among a super economy play. All right, look at this. He has 23 mana. Oh and, man! And it is his initiative. <laughs> we all know what's going to happen so, here. So we could see the hydro, uh, the hydro ring. Ring of yep, tides. Oh no! Ring of tides Ring of and tides. A Please. Yep. It's tsunami. Happen. Victor is definitely known for having mass tsunami plays, and it works, man. Mm -hmm. it, it works is. so much. Well, oh, there's a surging wave. I thought it was going to be the tsunami. Oh, okay. Surging wave. It should roll, I believe, more da dice than that. It rolled it three. Should, yes. It should roll one more and plus two to the effect. So we should the effect won't change, but it would take another die. Or is it two dice? No, it's just one. It's die. just one, yeah. There we go. And, um,. No, I don't think... Is he not going to call it? I don't think he's going to call it. You can quick cast when slammed, yes. Yes, because it's an incapacitate. Yep. And as long as it's not an attack spell or a full cast spell, you can cast it. So, I don't know if they're going to catch it. They should roll one more, but that's okay. Um, and they're going to keep going with this. Yep, no big. It's it's not an automated one because of the turn thing. Yeah, Reef has such a weird card. Uh, there's the there tsunami, and um, I believe it hits all the creatures. It hits everything. It hits everything. Okay, so we're also gonna it's have this pentagram and Nanashar get hit. 
Yeah, I think so. The, but those aren't going to get too badly hit. Four dice going against this guy. Magma Golem. Extinguish he has. Mm. Yeah, so he's going to roll he's one right. less and minus one on the um, tsunami. He's right on that one. Mm, which is a shame because that's actually pretty good damage from that. That's a good die roll, yeah. Right, it's one die. It yeah. was one He's die from the attack per burn. Yep. Uh, it's one die minus one on the effect, specifically. Right. Uh, which so might matter. On a four up, he will push because he has the high trouble. The and he's, he's not going to get any damage there. But he does push him, which means he'll get more damage here. Looks like he's going to go after this mana shard. He has one armor. Rolling three damage in that mana shard. Very nice. Getting that pentagram. Interesting idea of a wave on a pentagram. Um, two damage in that pentagram. Rolling two ones. Very nice. Should actually wipe pretty the cool whole pentagram it. out, technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just like erase the chalk. <laughs> Firebrand Imp is going to get swept away, taking four damage. Yeah, it does not hit the bat. Yeah, bat's flying, so not. he's just watching. Yeah. Um, pretty much the art on Surging Wave is oh, what's happening right now. Brace yourself, a good play here. Ah, brace yourself, such a smart play. Um, I wonder if Jason did that as like a thing he always does, or if that's a reaction to high mana. Well, I mean, he's already eaten in two Surging Waves now, so. Surging wave against that uh, imp. Again, like the art, just demons in a wave. Magma Golem not getting pushed this time. Oh, no. So unfortunate. Uh, but taking two damage in the process. And this warlock getting freaking trounced, dude. Taking four oh, yeah. damage, putting him up to 15. 15 damage in the warlock plus a push. And that is going to be a dead firebrand imp as yep. we're uh, going more into this. Dude, this is such a good, good tsunami, man. An additional two damage onto the warlock and a push, and then and we're gonna have wall. another three damage from the wall yeah, hit. So many crits! Oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was so good, man. <laughs> Jason's at twenty damage. Brace. He's right. Wow. J Jason's at twenty damage. That was an insane roll. Holy but it was awesome. cow, dude! <laughs> so, the, so the question is, can victory follow up? Yeah. Right. You know, or <laughs> I mean, yeah. go hide like he should. <laughs> you know, this is yeah. There's the regrowth belt. Very smart of uh, Jason. This is mm -hmm. totally what we should be doing. Letting his spawn point and his bat. Bat. Did he pay? Um, I don't think he paid for that tsunami. <laughs> he has. Oh, he did. Twenty-eight mana. You should have fourteen right now. Yeah, I think he needs to pay it too. Still funny. Have golem does keep a burn on. So that's going to be an armor minus one. I wonder if they catch that. Good question. You know, he missed that one die when he had that surging wave. So, you know. It's Obviously, it evens out, right? It's worth 14 it's mana. It's worth 14 mana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Now, see, it would be at this point that I would have expected that Victory would play, like, Deathlock or something. Because after you push ah, everything, uh, red yeah. push everything away from you, then they have plenty of space to to just heal, right? Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that. Um, so you put down a death lock, and then you go after them. All their creatures are across turn. the board. Now would be the time to sort of just place it here and say, are right, you going to come after me, who's going after your mage, or are you going to come after this death lock? Nope. No, it's not a big deal. Um, Vic, I'd ask you to pay for Tsunami. <laughs> I love it. Vic's still actually pretty new to the Octagon system. Um, so we just have to have to bear with him a little bit, but he's a, he's an excellent player. He had already spent his uh, Hydro Ring on the Tsunami, so or on the Surging Wave, so mm -hmm. he pays the full 14 for the Tsunami. Or Victor's trying to cheat. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Man, I still remember Victor's wizard almost killing my priestess in that one match. Oh, oh yeah. my god, that was such a good match, man. 
He he threw you off your game so hard. He it knew was, what he was doing, man. It was amazing. <laughs> that was just like After, uh... you, you just wiped the floor with everyone else in that <laughs> tournament, and Victor and Justin were like, "Yeah, Farkas this is going to be a real fight." Farkas actually put up a good fight yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. God, it was so fun to play that match. And I think well, that if he had fun. gotten a stun or two with his lightning that game, mm -hmm. he would have been you would have been done for. Yeah, I mean, my Castiel healing is what saved me, man. Because I had yep. that little extra healing where he didn't, and it just it compounded. Let's go ahead and skip a little bit. Fast forward. Time's 25. There we go. Bat comes out. Another bat. Bat! Okay, have you seen the new What We Do in the Shadows? Cause if no, you I need to watch it. Oh, the new episodes are great, man. Uh, no, I need to watch it. <laughs> Tepperfold's coming out for Siren. Um... Getting a little bit more armor on. Nice. Some people say this is too good of a card. I think it's just a solid card. If you have the extra spell look and you need... Like, if you're a Force Master, let's just say, and you just want to try and make sure that you can avoid certain status effects, great card. If you're relying... like, yeah. If you're like a Beast Master, really not that big of a deal. Unless you're I like a Melee good. Beast Master. It's, it, it's good and it's worth the price. I don't know. I don't see it being broken, but maybe I just haven't had anybody abused against me. It's true. We have the geyser wow. coming out against the bat. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder why he did that. I don't know. Right, it's not yeah, terrible, I guess. It seems like a waste of a geyser. Maybe he wanted to get the daze. Maybe. Unfortunately, Ooh, there's no and there's the rot. No, no rot. Not quite. No, no, not rot. no rot. It's very tough to get rots on. I forgot yeah, rot is hard to get in the original game. Yeah, if I was uh, Vic, I probably would have just I don't know, Elemental Wand and then thrown that? I don't know. It didn't seem to be... A Tegu's probably your best bet when you want to get Rots reliably. That being That's said, true. these bats are supposed to just be casual overtime damage, and I think using that Geyser was enough of a win for Jason to say that was a good call to, to play it. Oop, sorry. We all know the card <laughs> now. <laughs> it's okay. My bad. You're just infinitely curious as to what people are doing. I, I, I'm always putting this cursor I do the same thing. Like, And the leather pants coming out. Man, I remember when leather pants were, were a thing. Like, they just started coming out, and people were like, more pants! I don't know, man. We don't need quite so many slots. <laughs> there yeah. is a lot of leather out there. I mean, leather helm... It's I, not just leather. It's just like we have a ring slot, a belt slot, a pants slot, a boot slot, a ah, arm yeah. slot, a shoulder slot, a toe ring slot. I don't know, man. We <laughs> need. I, I actually think we need more slots. We should have glasses slot. We should have oh, earring yes. slot. <laughs> I, I mean, eyeball slot. Yeah, Spectacles. man. I mean, nipple piercing slot. I'm in, dude. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Game on, man. Game on. <laughs> Yeah, you need some knee pads in there too. Knee pads, yes. Absolutely. Knee pads, shin guards. <laughs> um, how about a uh, slot for your your um, sword hilt specifically, just that goes on your sword hilt? Just it's just hilt, a little yeah. trinket, you know. You got a in this situation we have right now going on. You got a face mask slot. A face mask slot, absolutely, yeah. man. Got to keep everybody healthy. Yeah. yeah. Battle to the death. Wouldn't social... want anybody dying from disease or anything. Social distancing slot. Absolutely <laughs> is what we need in this case, man. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Maverick Golem is coming in. Um, have we rolled these? Yeah, I think he has two oh, damage. Oh, yeah. Know, two damage from the tsunami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, these burns will not deal damage to conjurations? No, it won't. Okay. No. So I wonder... Because we got to see if they go away, right? Didn't they roll? Did they? Uh, we were too wrong. busy laughing. Too Damn much. the laughs! Yeah, there we go. Resolving burns. Cool. Um, yeah, so we're in a really weird state. As Jason, I would actually love this spot. Like, just getting free chances for rots. Um, I just take those all day. And he's got a lot of he's getting the, the longer the game goes, the more board advantage he's getting because Vic's just playing solo, which is fine to an extent. But if you're not hitting the mage and you're a solo guy, you need to you need to start doing that. 
Yeah, normally I would say, you know, Tsunami would be a really good way to take all these guys out, but the bats are just, you know, all over the yeah. place here. And Jason's now got four armor and regrowth too, or regen too, so it's like, eh, it's gonna be tough. Uh, Jason's at 16 life now. He's actually, he's starting that process of becoming aggressive again. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, basically, as I said, these free rots, now free burns, where, like, the, the siren spending, you know, attack spells, that's gonna add up to uh, a big problem for Victory if he's not careful here. Mm-hmm. Nap Golden's pissed at this flower, and he completely burns and the thing Annihilates up. it, yeah. Go, Magma Golem. I love seeing this card get played, man. Interesting. Oh, wow. He went after the Battle Forge with the bat. Um, I don't know if I agree with that play. That being said, um, he didn't roll a rot chance. So Yeah, it eh. wouldn't have been how I did it either, but that He wouldn't have gotten any damage five, regardless. Five armor regen two. On and, the warlock. Yep. And the uh siren has three armor oh. and several enchantments on. Oh I got it. Maybe because the tempered folds was played, he's like, I'm probably not gonna get double rot. Maybe I can just get damage on the battle forge. Oh, that's yeah, but with, with two dice, though, it's unlikely you're going to do any damage to the forge. Yeah, yeah, but if he does, it sticks, and unlike the point of them being the rods where they just don't stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you have to get nine twice. That's that's rough. Then again, it's a four mana, or five mana creature, so... You're only rolling one die against the Siren, who has regen one in the mm -hmm. Chalice also, so... I can see. Something about a magma golem walking into a shallow sea sounds really interesting to watch. It's a uh, steamy. Yeah, like that's how you get a um, a free. That's, that's the stuff of romance novels. A free dense <laughs> fog appears in the the battlefield. Oh my god! Right, <laughs> magma golem <laughs> looks at the siren into the water. It's great. And they all die. Yep. And then they all die. <laughs> well, then he boils the water, so you know. Like, it gets, it gets ugly. And then everyone can have tea. I saw a victory move acid ball. I saw a move acid ball. Pretty um, back in the spell book, so... We're just going to times 25 here for a second. That's a good idea. Keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. There it is. An elemental cloak. That's uh, a good play. That's a solid play. Uh, Though it's a, it's really explodable. <laughs> It's a really good spell to explode. It's a little expensive, but I mean, you gain. Oh, but it's so much dice. fun! Oh god, it is. I know. But that does uh, basically make the firebrand pretty much useless, and the magma golem is going to do far less damage without its. Um, yeah. With at its least melee attack. It, dealt with. Mm -hmm. it can still deal with the direct fire damage, but you know, surging wave in the warlock. I mean, no. that's his. That's his mo. He's yeah, he's going to attack him. In Every time he's in range. That's Hawkeye gets a real holy wow. cow that damage. Only getting two though. Only cause... two goes through, but yeah, that's a really hot roll. <laughs> if he didn't have that armor on, Dude, that would have been victory, serious. man. Yeah. I guess I would have liked to have seen some acid balls before that, but it's fine. Fair Renee coming in. Uh rolling less damage because of two that's factors all. here. No, critical at least. Got a damage through. Circle of Light First getting blood. revealed. Very cool choice. Oh, didn't do anything though except days. And this is something that um, a lot of sirens aren't doing, and that is the uh, damage barriers. They're actually really useful in situations just like this. Yeah. Uh, where the bats are all around you, and little dudes, and it's just useful to have just some more damage uh, passively. <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Nope. <laughs> we could try my chances against this forge. Hey, gets the damage through. Now, do you imagine that this bat was flying, turning itself into a little cannonball and hitting the forge? Or do you think he was gnawing at little pieces? <laughs> Which one do you think would happen? And to get I damaged? think that if he was turning into a cannonball, uh -huh. uh, he would be um, taking damage himself. He'd be taking damage himself. I mean, it's a safe cannonball. Like, you know, like he flies full speed and then he just sort of rolls up into a ball and that's how he hits the battle forge. I think that would result in broken bones. Okay, fair so enough. You got bat bones. Oh no, victory roll that Asphalt got one corrode. 
Dude, that's I'm not so coming. sorry for you, man. <laughs> I mean, he's right. rolled a ton of crits, though. <laughs> yeah, so. that is true. And the curse is coming down from Jason. And he's, 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 he's leaving. He's like, why am I being aggressive? Oh, it's a nullify. <laughs> nullify comes out, detaches Circle of Light, discards Circle of Light, gets Circle of Light back, detaches Circle of Light, Circle of Light's supposed to be there. Nullify be comes out. Nullify. There it is. <laughs> I know. Just, the Nullify gets the... Uh... I'm just narrating here. Just to... <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, no, it fizzled. Not enough mana? Yeah. Yep. That's why I don't didn't cast my probing spell. Yep. I need that bigger makes sense. screen. Didn't even notice. Oh, I wonder if Jason knows that... Uh, all right, Victor. Victor, if you're watching, you can actually scroll with your mouse wheel, or I think Control Plus, to actually increase the size of the board. Because when you start, it's like you're very zoomed yeah. out, and it, you pretty much always want to change it. That must get really tough to play this game if you don't know that. I can imagine it being, because then you're just super zoomed out the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Warlock's going to regenerate two more, putting Jason down to 16. Again. Man. What was the uh, reveal? Cool That's an arcane corruption. Arcane corruption. Right. Nice. Very cool. Two damage and a crap ton of mana to get rid of it. You know, there's not a lot of players that I see play this, but it's actually an amazing curse. I, I love that curse. I put it so in every. Game. I mean, literally the three of us play it. All right, that's that's the only people I see play it. But now Jason also. Now Jason's plays in it. the fourth. <laughs> Um, I mean, Zod also plays it, I think. But I mean, really, like for a while, Mass Enchantment was such a a big playbook that these sorts of spells like Arcane Corruption or Purge Magic yeah. was just, it was dominating the scene. Such cool art. If you put an Arcane Ward on it. An Arcane Ward? Yeah, absolutely. Then you can prevent it from being dispelled, too. Even with 10 channel is hard mana. Game with Siren. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see well. that. And he's got the ring on. Yeah. He lost his mana flower, though. No. It got eaten. I think it got killed by fire. Oh, man. Jason laying down the, uh, the shade <laughs> here. <laughs> I like the smack talk. It's funny. I wouldn't know how to handle my mana either. Oh, my God, Jason. What are you doing? It's a friendly game here. He said he was playing for fun. <laughs> I generally think attack spells are never worth mana when you spend on them. You either get very good results on them or lose the trade hard. I actually agree that once they're above like four armor, it's very tough to make. I mean, water spells in general is very tough to make actual damage work. Yeah. I mean, even with Hawkeye and the ring, it's still... I think it's five damage, but, you know. Wow. There's a tanky siren. It's got six armor on. And this is exactly how like a solo siren can work. The damage barrier with high armor. I'd love to see the trident. Because he could probably he legit... He does not have enough mana for that this turn. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. But I, I, I you could, like, legit one-shot these creatures. Um, yeah, again, in this situation, I can see it being good. It'll the, save you some mana, too. The Dark Fiend Bats not doing the cannonball approach, therefore getting zero damage on both of those attacks. Instead, just sort of... I, I imagine them just laying on the Battle Forge nibbling at certain things and just being like, oh, we're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. It's because they, it, it would be the cannonball approach if they got a charge bonus. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. They need the uh, lion's savagery for that. Uh, we have a guarding firebrand imp. Interesting. He's, Siren's going to just like, move right out of that zone. <laughs> like, nope. See ya. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and just Loop that down. Another shallow sea coming out. Interesting choice to put that in the pentagram zone. Jason's going to say, you don't mess with my pentagram. Double moving. I don't think he's worried about the pentagram. <laughs> Who's not worried about the pentagram? I'm not worried about the pentagram. <laughs> the pentagram's done its job. Yeah, I agree with that. 
sometimes we put people intentionally place cards to block the maximum amount of space. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually have like an obsession in real life especially of placing the, all of my cards in a very specific row on my side. I tend to mess with it a little bit, but sometimes I'll put it like I saw somebody else do it once. I remember who I saw it the first time, but where you put like the chess oh, piece in the middle nice. and on the sides. And... There's the teleport on the magma golem. Magma yeah. golem coming in. He's gonna roll three dice. Oh yeah. Oh no, he just wanted the damage. It it's probably not wise to attack the siren only because his damage bearer is doing three dice back. No, I mean, but he's in there to add the burden damage. Exactly. Yeah. So casually you get three dice direct damage in this case. Or two dice, I'm not Does sure. Does it have three damage on it? Or three burns on it? I think it's... He hasn't put it on but... yet. Yeah, I don't think he's done it yet. We're in the upkeep. We're in planning. Here we go. And maybe it only had one. Huh. For some reason I thought it had two, but I guess I'm wrong here. I don't think he added it. It should have three. That's fine. Still, though, two damage is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Two damage, and of course, we're going to have the Siren regenerate one. Because she's in Shallow Sea. Yeah, but that damage is starting to stack up. The potential is definitely there right now. And, um,. Honestly, like, looking at Jason, he just has so much coverage over this whole field, and he's going to get more creatures out. He's got seven men on this pentagram? Holy cow, dude. I mean, what would you what would you put out at this point? The Siren has six armor. Ah. All right, well, that works. <laughs> Malakota, that direct damage creature. Perfect with the uh, non-living. Looks like that's a, that's going to be a tar trap. And yeah, curse going down the siren. Tar trap is perfect in this case. It looks like we are going to see the dissolve go down, getting rid of that regrowth belt. Jason's at fourteen out of thirty-eight life so far. It's still I, anybody's game right here, but yeah, it's a little open. I agree. I love Malakota, man. Every time I play Malakota, I'm just like. So that being said, the longer the game goes, the more I think it swings in Jason's favor at the current rate. Two curses in the siren. One's a tar trap, one's a mage ping. Mm -hmm. He's only got mana for one of them right now. It was a tar trap. I think he has to use it. Yeah, yeah, there it is right now. Yeah. Mm, okay, so yeah, he, he got the tar trap revealed. So he's actually going to be stuck in this zone for two rounds. And I don't it, know, looks like, it, yeah. it looks like he isn't aware of that yet. That's fine. Um, he can still actually cast the spell without moving one. So let's yeah. see if he actually wants to commit to that. But he, he did get those two crows. Oh, he got two crows. That's so nice. And three is a decent level to be at against five armor. Yeah. And the bat manages to deal another damage to that battle forge. So that buff from the tar traps going to be interesting for the... Um... Ooh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so he's got minus two from the elemental cloak. And then yeah, I would, I would attack myself with the golem. Uh, I don't... Yeah, because he can give us health burns, I believe, right? Yep. So Jason K targets Magma Golem, rolls zero dice, sees if he gets a burn, doesn't get a burn. Pays one for theft of life! Nice. What? And we... Stop that regen. Yeah, we know that the Siren has regen, so what a smart play here. And this art, man. It's like the priestess is like, why am I letting you do this? <laughs> why is it always a dog that's suffering? <laughs> I mean, right? This is a priestess here. Why does the priestess have a dog? I don't know. Yeah, good question, actually. Because it makes it, it maybe because the art makes it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you feel for the, the hurt one. Yeah, it's like if. If it was just a soldier, we'd be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the intent for a curse. It's got to hurt, damn it. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, look how evil that uh, vampire mage is. Eh, it's probably supposed to be the warlock. 
did. Oh, the, yeah. The uh, or a academy warlock. one. The academy one. For some reason, I don't think that's a guy, but I could be totally wrong. I don't yeah. know. I'm not judging. Um. So one damage right, gets Victor transferred. E is. Arcane Let's Corruption see. dealing two more damage. Let's see how those uh, burns get. Upkeep gets you nine plus golem damage. Nine? Gets you two nine. Oh, two nine, yeah. Plus golem damage. Golem damage time. Malakota and Curse and Auto? Or Auto? Yeah. Yeah, they will. God, Malakota is such a cool creature, man. Auto, auto will heal you by one, which you already have corrected for. It looks like, yeah, it looks like he's just like sort of prepping him to like, here's all these things happening automation wise. Yeah, he's just getting ready. This is why I hate Octagon. It's, it's, um, I mean, Victor, this is actually not necessarily that difficult once you figure it out. This is more like if you're actually playing in real life, this is how complicated this is, you know? That being said, when you're new to Octagon, it looks scary. You know what I mean? Yeah, and if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, if anyone's watching these games and like hasn't actually... Three damage from the golem. Very nice. Um, if anyone's watching these games and hasn't tried Octagon, uh, just play like two or three games, and honestly, you'll be fine. Um, the first one, usually you fumble... Uh, just because it's a little tough, but you know everyone's willing to to go through a game with you and just sort of teach you how, how it works. And then by the time you're in your third game, you usually got it all down. Unless you don't run into people playing warlocks or druids. Ah, uh, yes. Well, if you if you end up playing Jason, he won't teach you anything. Clearly. <laughs> no, I mean there's just a lot of things that happen during upkeep. For, oh yeah, you're right. Druids can't get confusing. Yeah, I mean, the the way that the uh, the Araxian Crown works is actually kind of tough because there's so many things that happen in upkeep with him. Uh, anyway, we're just going to skip this to 25. Skipping, skipping, skipping. While they plan out. All right, cool. Teleport is happening. Uh, no deploy. The teleport goes down. Even with Tar Trap, you can still actually cast spells. And... Um, then we're going to see a swell going swell. down. It is his initiative, so he gets an additional die. Uh, but he doesn't get the push out of that, unfortunately, even with the plus two. He gets no push and low damage roll. Bats dealing another two damage to this forge. Heck yeah, dude. And uh, the siren's done, man. Zero damage. Yep, that's a whole lot of Jason's movement movement now. Yeah, and this is this is exactly why a spawn point is really good in this game. Yep. Um, just because there's so many casual things happening here. It's because of the oh, he teleports him back. Counter teleport. <laughs> oh man. Jason taking control of the movement of this game. Yep. No, I'm mean, almost gonna attack the extra. I damage. tell you what, my favorite thing in this game is the movement game. That is my favorite thing. It it lets it lets you open up the damage, for sure. No, it also ensures that you get the damage. Yeah, yeah, right. But uh, but why do you like the movement game specifically? It's it's so tactical, and I love mm -hmm. tactical. Like this is the thing that's missing from Academy and Magic, and you know several other what is it Ashes, right? All these games that that do pretty well. But they don't have the movement aspect, and the movement aspect is just one of the most fun parts of the game. Which, it it know, definitely changes the I... dynamic. All right, we do have a ghoul rocket revealed, meaning there's an additional two damage. So let's have this up really quick. So there should be two from Arcane Corruption, 
one from Theft of Life. But well, he's going to regen one, so it's just zero, really. Um, then there should be a Ghoul Rod additional two, so that's going to be, what, four we're at. Um, then there's going to be Malakota two, so that's six. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, let's see, is there anything else we're missing? Magma Golem is going to roll burns. And Magma Golem. And that's, of course, we've also eliminated the regen, so that's almost like taking additional damage in that weird way. Two damage from that Golem. Bringing that Golem down to one burn. <laughs> Jason's saying that his Magma Golems are always bad. Uh, that being said, Malco is up to five damage now because of this casual burning. <laughs> kind of casual. A, kind of interesting. <laughs> Man, you need, like, a regenerate on this uh, Malakota. I think I specifically remember thinking I would never run Malakota with Magma Golem, but I suppose Jason's just specifically just trying to lay on the damage right now. I mean, he's got him two-thirds of the way there, so. Mm-hmm. And he has the board state advantage, too, so. Yeah, it's I kind mean, of... Victor's at 20 out of 30 now. And this game yeah. is pretty much over. Um... I mean, I guess a good tsunami could change stuff. Yeah, he's still got three armor on the warlock, though. That's true. Yeah, I was, I was sort of thinking if he started with a, well, I don't know, I don't know a good surging wave. And victory only has twelve mana anyway. Yeah, that's true. Huh. I, I, it's very tough for victory right now. There was a, uh, a point in the beginning of the game that uh, Jason had no armor on, that I almost wonder if a sur- uh, Wall of Thorns would have been a good play. But, you know, how do you predict that? Wall of Thorns into a Tsunami would be amazingly strong. If you could or Tsunami them right? back. Yeah, or you could, so you could Tsunami them back into the Wall of Thorns. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be so potent. Elemental One coming out for Victor E., and it looks like a another enchantment that I'm not going to look at. Uh, no, I can't look at it. So it's just a, it's a curse. I don't know where another tar trap or is tar trap still on him? Uh, anyway, tar anyway. trap is gone. So it's probably so it a tar be, trap. Yeah, it might be another tar trap. Uh, Victory is saying he can't really read the damage. Um. I wonder if his screen is just really small. (laughs) There's some worth to my bats attacking. Oh my god. (laughs) Victory basically conceding. But let's just see if he can go out with some good damage here. Element to one getting targeted. With the crumble. These are these sorts of safe plays that, um, you know, when you're in control of the game, you're allowed to take. When it's like, all right, I don't need to worry about your movement as much. You know, I don't need to worry about a bunch of other factors like dealing with your armor and stuff. So I might as well just take a safe crumble and get rid of whatever you're bringing out. He was probably actually going to crumble one of these armor pieces, but the elemental one is probably the better choice. He's not going to move. Bats, again, swarming this battle forge. Not finding anything to gnaw at. Doing very little. Uh, they they got to try the double cannonball approach. That's oh, where they there. both that's where both <laughs> bats hug each other and then cannonball into it. All right, we have a dead battle forge. I think they call that a uh, team attack or <laughs> dual team or something yeah, like that. Right? Absolutely. And it looks like we're going to have an activated siren. Will we see a tar trap get revealed? Guess not. Nope. Nope. Firebrand is like, well, okay. I guess I'll come in here. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe poison blood. Ooh, and we get the the days going down and a damage back for that uh, super of light. Uh, Malakota moving up is slow, so it won't matter. He's going to start damage doing damage. There. This is actually uh, a really... Oh. He just... I don't know why he revealed it. But... He's not going to actually be able to regenerate. Yeah. Um. 
<laughs> uh, that being said, this Malakota is now going to hurt the Warlock and the Firebrand Imp. And so is the uh, Magma Gone. Yeah, this might be a dead... Well, no, the no. Imp's not going to... The Imp yeah, is burnt. Is burnt. flame immune. Yeah, you're right. But, yes. Malakota's taken a lot of damage from those burns. Poor Malakota. I don't feel bad for him at all. <laughs> I, I think uh, one of the drawbacks of Malakota is that low life. It just feels like he dies very quickly in a lot of cases. Well, he's not being attacked. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, this is looking like a good tsunami play for victory. Yeah, it is. But will he survive? I'm trying so hard to love the golem, really. Golem never really rules damage. <laughs> He's actually done a ton of damage though to the siren with this golem. Shoot that golem has done quite a bit over the course of what five, six, seven turns has been. Yeah, there. I mean he killed the flower, you know, he has been basically killing the siren by himself with the curses. Um, oh my god, Shoop. The Shoop game was really fun to watch with the three golems. Yeah, that was insane. Which is in the Mod Wars playlist on the YouTube. Check it out. Alright, we're just going to times 25 of this. Mm -hmm. I would love to see Tsunami right now. Alright, we are in first quick cast. Victor's going to pass his quick cast. There's not going to be a force push. That means the sound is not, not going to do what he wants you it to could do. You could do left. Nope. That's to be directly away. Yeah, the push won't work there. He'd have to force push himself back up. Oh, but he's going to move. So he's going to play a safe play, I guess? He's going to purge himself. And this is why curses are so good. Because now he's purging himself and all of his good cards are now gone. Meaning the swarms are back in play, man. Uh, let's see, we had an Arcane Corruption. What was, what was on him? Unholy Reversal was on him. That's right. So many cards gone. And these bats, man. That's a hydrothermal vent right there. Oh, no. Fed Aversions. Okay. Nah, I'm flying creatures. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... I, it's non-flying creatures. Why? I think he played it well, it is it is what it is. That being said, a rot going down onto him. He's going to have him re-roll that. Jason actually literally asks. And he rolls and doesn't get it. That being said, I mean, he got a damage with one of them. Uh, that's probably because they've learned how to take out the Battle Forge and they've learned to gnaw through chinks of armor. Lesser Teleport going down for that uh, Magma Golem. And here's the Bed of Urchins. Dealing a damage. Immune to rot because it's non living. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Magma Golem actually might start, you know, taking out these bats. Yeah, all it needs to do is two damage to Siren, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not much at all. And it's going to be Jason's initiative well, next round. Three damage. Yeah, yes, you get three damage to the regen one. This game is pretty much over. I think he's just going to throw a fireball. Well, I don't know. He's got a lot of armor. Yeah, he does have a lot of armor. It's... I mean, a, a Mage Bane would seal it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right, here we One go. Damage. Oh, One God. damage. Jason's got to be feeling that, man. <laughs> He's doing all right. Hey, yeah. Shark's back. Shark? You were gone. Shark was back. Something broke. All right, we're just going to go... Is he... I think he's just gone. Let's go to times 25. Let's get this whole thing. Let, let Victor plan here. And we have another bat. Wow. Coming out. There's a lot of bats. There we go. All right, sorry hey, about no that. Kidding. No, you're good, man. Welcome back, Shark. Dang, internet. Did anyway, what minutes. minutes. Uh, um, you, you missed a bed of urchins that did nothing. Oh. oh. It dealt a damage, I thought. 
it does appear that the victory is uh and there's oh, the well, heel going I may down have spoken too soon <laughs> and he's gonna actually roll really well getting 12 wow, healing on this gosh. wow and i with, started speaking a little too soon with here. that high armor man that actually could matter right oh and we see uh oh, card going himself? down on the dark fiend bat did he purge himself while i was gone yeah he purged yep. himself he he purged okay himself. cool that makes way more sense. I'm like, where did all they go? Where they all go? <laughs> what is this card on this bat? Gross finger. <laughs> A battle Strike. fury going down oh, with no, badge of frenzy. frenzy. Oh, he's doing the quad attack strat. Jeez. I love it. So basically, if anyone doesn't know, you basically roll four times when you get oh, the rot. strike. Battle fury. Got a rod. He's going to have to reroll it. Gets four damage through. What? Oh dear. Reroll that one. This is a really good tactic that I actually love using. And that is the four quad attack with bats. Or Tigus is my preferred, but. Gets another rot. Holy cow. Uh -oh. But Tegu's got some well. okay damage, actually. Yeah. Got, what was that? Four damage? Four damage and a rot. And a rot. Putting Victor at uh, 22 out of 30. Rough. That rock could be what kills him. What is he doing in there? He's gonna uh, punch him yeah, in. he knows that if he doesn't take out this mage now, it's probably not gonna happen. He's got a lot of a lot of damage to chew into. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Jason's basically half dead. No, there's there's an arc guard as well. Yeah, there's a yeah. guard, so he can't do that. <laughs> the trusty servant protects me. That's what the uh, trident's actually really good for, is the uh, the range attack here. And he's going to melee attack that. Uh, interesting. Um, the Firebrand Imp taking four damage. Uh, about average. Killing that Firebrand Imp. And here come the bats. Wow, bats rolling crits now. That's where it's at, man. And here comes the... Burn damage. The Magma Golem does say to add a burn during upkeep, right? Mm, yeah. So he's just been losing a burn every upkeep. I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. He did say that his dice rolls were pretty crappy, mm. which I've seen Jason roll. He's right. And two <laughs> burns removed. Oh my god. <laughs> Jason point. <laughs> I mean, even if he killed the bat, dealing the damage to Siren right now would be Super worth it. Right. The, the golem is just dirt bad useless. <laughs> uh, I honestly, spell. honestly I haven't really played the golem enough to really say if it's good or bad. I think it's good. He's just rolling like crap. Mm. It's it's positioning spell. Yeah. That soaks up attacks if they're afraid of it. And it looks like that elemental cloak is going to be dissolved. Jason. What are you doing, man? I uh, know. You need to explode. Yeah, dude. It's so much more fun. <laughs> and here's the tsunami coming out. Oh, geez, it again. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Uh, expected uh, that the last time you had initiative. Here we go. What's he going to cast it on? So I guess he's going to go left. Or up. Right. I think he's going to go right. Oh, into the run. bed. Dark yeah, Bat probably. is getting targeted. Burfing Bat cannot be attacked. Yeah, Here we go. Uh, Magma Golem, which does not take additional damage from water, even though it's literally magma, uh, <laughs> is going to take... Looks like there is not going to be a push for that Magma Golem, but he will take four damage. Uh, it's a two, right? He gets it on a... Oh, oh it's no, a plus three? It's, plus, it's two. plus two. You're right. Yeah, so it barely two. misses it. Uh, the Warlock, however, does take two damage and does get pushed. Okay, he's going to go all the way to the wall if he can. Would have taken right. I mean, that better yeah, version wouldn't be bad. And that looks like that uh, crystal is dead. No, the fire brand is just going to take damage. Okay. I got that all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Manishard probably going to be taken out here. Takes two damage. Bam. 
Pentagram. I mean, a wet pentagram, man. Takes the damage as another candle goes out. Firebrand Imp is now dead, dealing a ton of damage. Holy cow, but doesn't get the push. Was that moment meant for yourself? Oh. Harsh. Uh, he does get pushed, it looks like. And yeah, I but, believe that oh. means he's going to take a Venomous. No, no he's not. Oh, he's aquatic. Duh. He's aquatic. Yeah. That's why it's good. Yep. Um, bats fly. Bat. Bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a little bats. Fire <laughs> Imp. Probably going to get taken out here. Four dice. And does go down. By the way, if anyone's wondering, because he was in this zone when Tsunami was cast, he could choose which direction to push. So that's why his siren went right. Uh, four critical damage against Jason here, no. and a push, putting Jason at 22 out of 38. Additional three damage, and I believe that's not a push. No, that is a push. Wow. Three, da three dice going, additional damage, putting Jason at 26. Dude, these tsunamis, wow. man. I see why he wins games. I got a lot of damage on that. That was right. nice, Great. man. He, go? he went from what? 12 to 28? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, dude. That was that was potent. That was a lot of damage. And these bats, of course, coming in saying, all right, I guess I'll just try and nibble. <laughs> Here comes the fireball. Fireball coming in. There is no element to cloak. Dealing three damage, and I think that's game. No, no, it's, no, that's right. It's four damage. So he's at 27 out of 30. And there is the rot. Will he reroll? Yeah. He did not use the reroll yet this turn, right? Temper Fold gets targeted. Already used. I don't think he used it. Oh, he gets, gets it again. again. Oh, that's why Temper Folds isn't amazing, amazing, by the way. And another oh, rot. Another rot. <laughs> that's yeah, game. That is game. <laughs> that is game. Got it anyway. Unless it's quick cast, he has zero mana. Yep. Uh, well, technically, he's going to regen one, I think. He is going to regen. So that he doesn't true. take damage from burns, and the Magma Golem doesn't do damage with burns. The game's over. If both burns fizzles, you live. Oh my god. <laughs> my first Siren didn't have the forge. With the forge, I just can't save up 22 mana for a little life. And that is why I don't like forge yeah. Siren. Easy Leviathan if you don't have Tsunami in turn three. <laughs> Jason. Oh, Jason's calling it out, man. Uh, that being said, the Tsunami at turn three definitely caused Jason to retreat. But I think yeah. Leviathan's probably more worth it to cast early when you start seeing, like, Magma Golem out and stuff. You well, know? When you see a spawn point. Or yeah, having I, a creature to help defend would have been nice. Or just bats, because they restrain the bats, so then you can yeah. hit them. Uh, Want to see if the burns kill you? Yeah, no, let's see if this game's over. Uh, Double Dose saying Siren does not need to wait one turn in the other game just to summon the big, big guy next turn. The rots only get you to 29. Roll the dice. Roll the dice, man. You decide the order. It's okay, I'm dead. Oh, no, I want to see. <laughs> he would have just thrown a fireball at him, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, he does have armor. I'm just putting it out there. I think we're not going to see it. No, we're not going to. Nope. But that being said... He, That's all right. It's a good game by Jason there. Yeah, we do have a concede. Uh, Magma Golem getting in this game. Again, the pentagram, I don't think much changed with that incomporeal thing. I, well, I'm i curious if he would have taken a Force Hammer if that change wasn't in effect. Right, so I think because of it being so much harder to kill now, it, it inherently has changed how people approach attacking a pentagram. You I don't just certainly throw see that. two spells at it and destroy it for less mana than it cost. You now have to either dedicate yourself to killing a spawn point like you do for all the other ones, or you have to have a spawn point of your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. So, um, 
Well, it looks like this one also ended by killing you with fire. I mean, that's the way to do it. So. <laughs> a lot of right. rocks. Oh, there, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I honestly think that Victor might have been a little bit too fast with the tsunamis. Yeah. And getting that Leviathan out. I mean, Leviathan play is just, that's a huge part of this book. And um, what we saw last game is when it came out, it just started dominating the area against the Druid. But, um, you know, victory not casting this round, I think he was just struggling and constantly on the back foot. Mm -hmm. I think so. At least well, after I, I the first game on me. Yeah, if Jason hadn't been casting bats, mm -hmm. uh, it might have been a different story. Yeah. Because the Magma Golem and Malakota are both slow, and Malakota didn't come out till very late in the game. Yeah. Um, it was the uh, the bats that really kept the pressure up and yeah. forced, forced Victor to put on armor, to um, put on a damage barrier, to get his defensive stuff in gear sooner, rather than have a couple turns to save up for the Leviathan. Yeah. Man, the fact that he got these bats out of the pentagram is actually so cool as well. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it's yeah. funny. Because I think Sir Jason was playing a very slow book. Yeah, honesty. absolutely. It was an aggressive spawn point, but a over damage over time book. So if, if there were any situation in which the Siren had as many chances as possible, it would have been this, a slow book. Mm -hmm. um, if he had come in guns blazing, like uh, we just saw, uh, Napmaster do, you know, with two de blood demons and just wreck face, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think this siren would have crumpled a little faster. I agree. Yeah, so, I don't know. If anyone's watching and has some thoughts, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but congratulations, Jason. Uh, Victor, I think, is only have one loss. So he actually could still advance because top two advance. So um, I think um, NT hasn't played any games yet, but we'll have to wait on that. Um, but uh, and then we have J Buzz in this group too. Yep. So it really so. is anyone's game uh, in terms of who advances so far. Um, yep. It's still plenty. But uh, yeah, so I guess we're gonna call it here with this match. So thank you everyone for joining. I'm just gonna do an outro. Then you know if you've listened to the other matches, you'll know what I'm about to say here. So uh, we do have a Discord for the entire community. So feel free to check it out. Um, I usually link it in the, the the information below. If it's not there, just feel free to leave a comment, and I can just I can just for you send you a link, um, uh, you listener. But uh, if you want to play some Mage Wars games online, there's tons of people on the Discord server and on the Arcane Wonders forums um, that will totally be willing to introduce you to to the online format. It's all free, so you know we're all here just to have a lot of fun with this really fun hobby. Um, yep. And uh, feel free to check out the other games of Mod Wars. We have a whole playlist on our YouTube. And uh, this is still an ongoing tournament. So if you guys are, uh, you know, stuck at home or maybe doing a, more time at home than you normally are with the whole quarantine thing, then uh, this is a fun time to sort of just, you know, get involved with a really fun game. Uh, thank you so much, Puddin and Shark. You guys rock. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, yeah, this is Koshade, and uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.